Welcome back to my channel. I'm I am Moonchild and today I'm going to react to Dimash Love is like a dream. So I let you participate on a survey today and I think we've had 400 votes and 62% of you said tonight we want Love is like a dream. So did a bit of research. Uh, this was in April 2019. Uh, the video has not even started, but I can see Igor Kutoy already here. And uh, what I saw is that this is um, a concert made for uh, a very popular Russian musical performer, Ala Pugacheva. So this is for her anniversary. Um, I think it's a tribute or I just saw that she's not performing anymore, but apparently in russia she is very very popular so must be if they make a whole concert for her so i'm very excited and let's just start dimash kudaybergen За твои, как в зеркало смотрюсь, отражение потерять свое боюсь. Не хочу, чтоб я лишь костем был, сумраки ночей и судьбе твоей. Я люблю тебя. Как любят жизнь не раз, словно солнце в мире не плата нас, от забот и мелких ссор я тебя увел, и ключи от счастья для тебя нашел, для тебя нашел. connection to the to the Russian language so and actually uh, I'm I'm glad that I put the subtitles on because once again I wouldn't know what this is about so he's the title obvious love is like a dream so me as someone who has never heard the song before I would think oh it's about love it's so beautiful and and then he sits there in his velvet suit, no tie, one but, uh, button is open, his hand in his pocket, and he's with this dark voice just singing. Yeah, like I said, uh, this is as a to me, this was sad, and uh, what he was saying there, like, I'm afraid to lose lose my reflection in you. But no. Okay, let's let's go back a bit here. Любовь похожая на Сердец хрустальных пересвод Твое волшебное люблю Я тихим эхом повторю Любовь, похожая на сон Счастливым сделала Мой дом, но 
вопреки законам сна. Пускай не кончится она. Я прощаю одиночество и грусть. Ты сказала в них я. Больше не вернусь, так бывает только в сладком сне, но любовь у нас на его сейчас. Не в глазах твоих себя не потерять, по разлуке нам любовь не разменять. Своей мечтой заслужил ли это счастье быть с тобой, быть всегда с тобой. Любовь похожая на сон, сердце с хрустальных перезвон. Ее волшебные люблю, я тихим эхом повторю, любовь похожая на сон, счастливым стенала мой дом, но вопреки законам сна. Потрясающий тандем. Спасибо Невероятная большое. песня. Спасибо! Give me a second, because today I did not have tissues. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. So... <laughs> I, read, I needed a moment because, um, first of all, I didn't have the tissues here and I needed them. And, um, okay, what am I thinking? All my thoughts. Again, I think one uh, viewing or this performance once is not enough to, to make like a proper reaction. Once again, all I have is now my emotions and the bits that really stood out for me. So. 
in this case so like i said i thought just reading the title love is like a dream i really thought it's something uh um, upbeat and uh you know something more happy and and the last few times so when i didn't have subtitles or I didn't put on subtitles because i thought it would distract me because even though you want to focus on the, just the performance you just want to see him and you want to take it all in in this very specific case i'm so glad that the subtitles are on because if they weren't i really i wouldn't know what is even going on like it's like it contradicts the title so love is like a dream him sitting there with a very deep voice and again his his wrinkles coming out here and he's very serious uh, and then me reading the actual lyrics you russians <laughs> usually you know you you say that like the the turkish or the arabians and middle eastern they have these very like poetic and when it comes to love songs it's like very oh they can pull it you know, they can rip your heart out but this and i was thinking uh for a short moment um it's probably not even properly translated like this english i know this because so like i just said when i'm listening to to turkish songs and they have such a deep meaning like like they are so deep you listen to them and they and they truly like if you're empathetic they truly rip your heart out and but it's it's hard to translate honestly you can't translate it because there are words missing in the english language or in the german language you can't translate it and i'm pretty sure that this even though the 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 english translation here of the subtitles was deep i think that if you're a native uh, russian speaker uh this is this is even more meaningful like you don't not only do you understand the words you also you feel them and but even though I don't speak Russian and I don't understand a word, I did feel it. Probably because Dimash was, was performing this, was singing this. And he is delivering so many emotions through his singing. I don't know what to feel. Like if I if I think back of, of these lyrics now, I'm thinking, but it was so it was wonderful. It was it was such beautiful lyrics, but then again. I don't know why 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 it's so sad and why it was so touching to me that I that I, I wanna cry again. <laughs> that wait. Yeah, so I was just rereading the lyrics and it's just so deep, you know. Whenever um lyrics get so deep into like trying to put the emotion of love into words and it's so well done like it's here like you might love but loving so deeply comes with a fear with the fear of 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 your significant other maybe rejecting you or you know these first first few lines saying that i'm, I'm afraid uh i lose my reflection in your eyes like in the stop it now like <sighs> yeah yeah you got me with this one thank you for voting this uh today saturday night i'm already in my comfy clothes so i might as well get the tissue box and uh, watch it a few more times <laughs> and um i'm sure you guys have more uh, like more background info uh, info about this as usual i'm very thankful for that uh, maybe the whole lyrics weren't even maybe the lyrics aren't even about that so uh, please enlighten me and also what I was thinking is this a song that you, that Russians play on weddings or is this, is this not 
appropriate on weddings because it's so I don't know you tell me in the comments please and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one